12 words stand between a hacker and your entire Bitcoin fortune. That's it. Not a vault, not biometric security, just 12 words from a list of words that anyone can download. And right now, someone, somewhere, is trying to guess yours. They have powerful computers, they have time, they have motivation. The question is, can they actually succeed? What you're about to learn will either terrify you or help you sleep better than you have in months. Hey everyone, welcome back to Sovereign Money. Today we're gonna settle a debate that's been causing unnecessary angst in the crypto community. Are 12 word seed phrases actually insecure? Should you be using 24 words instead? I've seen this myth repeated all over the place, on Reddit, on X, on other YouTube channels, and especially in my comments. And people are upgrading out of fear because bigger must be better, right? But is that really true? Now get your mind out of the gutter. In this video, we're gonna unpack the science behind seed security, explain tricky terms like entropy in plain English, run through some wild what if scenarios to test brute force attacks, address the quantum computing hype, and show you a simple trick with past phrases that can make your setup completely bulletproof. By the end, you're gonna know exactly why most pros stick to a simple 12 word seed phrase and how to level up without overcomplicating things. If you're new to crypto or just wanna sleep better knowing your funds are secure, stick around, this one's for you. Let's get into it. All right, let's start with the fundamentals so we're all on the same page. A seed phrase is basically your master key to your crypto wallet. It's a list of words that generates all the private keys in that wallet. This list of words is chosen from a bigger list of words called the BIP39 word list, which consists of 2,048 different words. Most wallets like Blue Wallet or MetaMask default to a 12 word seed phrase when they generate a new seed phrase when you create a wallet. While some hardware wallets like Ledger, for instance, default to a 24 word seed phrase. But why the difference? The key concept here is something called entropy. Don't worry if that sounds techy, Think of it like the strength of randomness of something. That's its entropy. Basically, it's a measure of how unpredictable and unique your string of words is, your seed phrase. A 12 word seed phrase has 128 bits of entropy, which means there are approximately 340 undecillion combinations. That's 340 followed by 36 zeros. That number is so large that even if every star in the observable universe represented one possible combination of your seed phrase, you'd still need 1.7 quadrillion universes to account for all the combinations. And yes, this is for a 12 word seed phrase. That's an incomprehensibly large number. And a 24 word seed phrase doubles that number to 256 bits of entropy. But here's the myth buster. For Bitcoin and most cryptocurrencies, 128 bits of entropy matches the core security level of the system itself. The security experts who designed Bitcoin's seed phrase standard itself chose 12 words as the default for a reason. 128 bits of entropy is cryptographically sound. The extra length in a 24 word seed phrase is like adding a moat around a castle that's already on a mountain. Nice feature, but not necessary against real threats, like losing your backup or falling for a scam. We'll see why in the next part. Now let's tackle the big fear, brute force attacks, where someone tries guessing every possible seed phrase until they hit yours. Sounds pretty scary, but the math is on your side. We'll build this up with some fun over the top examples to show just how ridiculous it gets. First, imagine every person on earth all 8 billion of us, had a computer and was willing to contribute to the effort to crack your seed phrase. Each computer was able to guess 1 billion seed phrases per second and that these computers were guessing 24 seven, nonstop, and they're all networked and perfectly coordinated. How long would it take them to crack your 12 word seed phrase? Let's go through it step by step. The total possible seed phrases are two to the 128th. Now, I'm going to use the entire possible combinations. I realize that you don't have to guess every last combination of words to hit the exact seed phrase you want, 
typically over time, the guesses tend toward the middle, a 50% range, but we're just going to go through the entire list, basically. How long would it take to go through all the possible combinations of seed phrases? So back to the possible combinations. There are 2 to the 128th power, or about 3.4 times 10 to the 38th possible combinations of 12 words out of the BIP 39 word list. Then you have your guessing rate. You've got 8 billion people, each guessing 1 billion seed phrases per second. Once you convert that to years, it would take approximately 1.35 trillion years. That's almost 100 times longer than the universe has even been around. Nobody has that much time, so let's ramp up the effort. What if all eight planets in our solar system were all inhabited? Each planet had eight billion people, and all eight billion people agreed to try to crack your seed phrase. Of course, all the computers would need to be networked on each planet, and then each planet would have to be networked with the neighboring planet, etc., etc. So that's a total of 64 billion people. So the guessing rate jumps to 6.4 times 10 to the 19th power guesses per second. So how long would it take to crack your seed? Still 168 billion years. But it's only 12 times longer than the universe has existed, so we're getting close. Now, here's the ultimate test. Let's say we take every star in the Milky Way galaxy, all 200 billion of them. Each star has eight planets, each planet has eight billion people on it. And they all agree to crack your 12-word seed phrase. That's 1.28 times 10 to the 22 guessers, number of people, blasting 1.28 times 10 to the 31 guesses per second. And as a result of that coordinated effort, it would take about 10 months to go through all the possible seed phrase variations. Wait a minute, 10 months? That sounds doable, but hold on, that's pure fantasy. It completely ignores physics. The energy needed to do this would drain the galaxy dry. The coordination of computers across light years is impossible. And of course, technology like that doesn't exist. What's the point? Even at galactic scale, it's barely feasible mathematically, proving that 128 bits of entropy in your 12-word seed phrase is rock solid. Real attacks don't work this way. They attack weak spots like poor storage. They don't try to guess your seed phrase because it's basically impossible. That's why hundreds of billions, if not trillions of dollars of crypto ride on the security of a 12-word seed phrase without issue. Here's another way to grasp the impossibility. The human body contains roughly 7 octillion atoms. That's 7 followed by 27 zeros. Guessing someone's 12-word seed phrase is like correctly picking one specific atom from 50,000 humans on your first try. The scale is beyond comprehension. All right, shifting gears. What about quantum computing? They've got everyone buzzing about the potential crypto killer. In theory, something called Grover's algorithm could potentially cut your 128-bit security in half to 64 bits making it guessable in only quadrillions of operations. Let's ground this in reality. Today's machines have approximately 150, maybe somewhere closer to 200, what are called qubits. They are also glitchy and wildly error prone. To break the 128-bit security of a Bitcoin seed phrase, you'd need thousands of stable, error-corrected, logical qubits which means millions of visible qubits running flawlessly. Experts say that that is multiple decades away and may never be practical for attacking this level of security. Even then, the energy and time required would be astronomical. Plus, the crypto community is already preparing quantum-resistant upgrades like new algorithms in Bitcoin forks. Here's the bottom line. For your 12-word seed today, Quantum computing is a distant worry, not an immediate threat. If it keeps you up at night, go ahead, switch to a 24-word seed. But don't panic, just focus on the basics first. And finally, if you want to amp up your security without ditching your 12-word seed phrase, you can add what's called a BIP39 passphrase. 
Basically, it's like a secret bonus word, a custom password that you create and secure, which gets hashed into your seed phrase derivation. This adds extra entropy depending on how strong your passphrase is. A rock solid passphrase, let's say 20 plus characters with random uppercase, lowercase numbers and symbols can add a hundred bits of entropy or even more, making your setup quantum proof and beyond. Tools like password managers can generate these for you very easily. Here's the critical part that you need to know. Adding a passphrase to your seed phrase creates an entirely new wallet with completely different addresses. It's not just protecting your existing wallet, it's generating an entirely new one. If you have Bitcoin in your seed phrase only wallet, and then you add a passphrase, you'll need to migrate all your coins from the old wallet to the new passphrase protected wallet. Many people get confused by this and panic when they can't see their funds after they've added a passphrase. Also beware, a lame passphrase like password123 or something like your birthday adds zero as hackers can dictionary crack those passphrases in a matter of seconds. Basically, it's like taping a key underneath your doormat. And always keep your passphrase separate from your seed phrase. And don't forget to test the restore function of this new wallet before you go and move all of your funds into the passphrase wallet. Done right, this turns your 12-word seed phrase into a fortress without the hassle of a longer seed. Okay, let's wrap it up. 12-word seed phrases aren't insecure. They're battle-tested with math that defies even galactic attacks. Ditch the myth that 24 words are mandatory. Instead, nail the real stuff. Offline backups, hardware wallets, and smart, secure passphrases. Quantum? Not yet. Your crypto is safer than you think when you focus on habits rather than hype. If this video opened your eyes to the security of a 12-word seed phrase, go ahead and smash the like button. Go ahead and subscribe for more crypto security tips and add a comment below. 12 or 24 words? Which one do you use and why? Check the description for links to BIP39 guides and quantum resources. Thank you guys so much for watching. Stay safe. Stay sovereign. I'll see you in the next video.